Sharon's here. I'm so glad you could join me today. You know, I really wanted to get into what my favorites were in January. I'm a little bit late on that. But I have everything laid out and I wanted to go over that with you because I just know there's a bunch of products here that you are absolutely going to just die for, girls. Just die for. But first, for all of you that are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, scroll on down. There's a little red button down there. Subscribe. Push that button. And the little button next to it that looks like a little bell, push that little bell and you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. That way you won't miss a thing. So here we go, ladies. Let's cover my favorites for January. I have a wide array of things I want to talk to you about. Some of these you've seen before, you know how I do. I don't deter a lot back and forth, but I did want to bring up one thing. I tell you the other day, I ran out of my facial cleanser. Oh, I never run out of facial cleanser, but I've been so totally swamped that it just slipped my mind. So I was digging around in my stash, see what I had. I cannot believe what I found that was the answer to my prayers and I was so angry because I didn't already have this out because I remember how I love it. So what's a girl to do, right? And that is my Gerland Naturals Milk Cream Facial Wash. I mean, this is a fabulous cleanser. It is thick, it is creamy. Let me show you what it's like. For all of you that are new to my channel right now, I am a huge fan of Guerlain Naturals. It is a vegan line of skincare. I know what you're going to say, but Sharon, you're a medical grade freak. Well, of course I am, but I'm also a Guerlain freak. Big time. I have done numerous videos on these products. Uh, Natalie the Beauty Diva turned me on to this several years back, and I have been the greatest customer since. I love her products. And I don't mean love, I mean love her products, okay? This is so natural and smooth. This got every oil in it that you could ever imagine. So nice and thick and creamy. And this was the most wonderful cleansing lotion I think I've ever used. I remember that before. I don't know why I put it up high in a cabinet staring at me straight in the face. But I used it again. I said, oh my gosh, how I love that. And the beautiful part about it was, as far as the toner, I remembered using before the organic rose and chamomile uh, floral water with it. I just squirted it on one of my uh, cotton pads and rubbed it all over afterwards. And look at my face. <laughs> Picture of beauty, <laughs> accommodations, recommendations, and so forth by Guerlain Naturals. I'm telling you, this line of products is fabulous. Now, you all do know that the main oils that I wear come from Guerlain Naturals. Now, when I talk to you about these oils, remember, that's my final step is after my Retin-A or after any of my skincare regimen. I squirt some of the oil in my hand, rub it together, and I pat it all over and off to bed I go. And I want to share with you some of my favorites. I, like I said, I have mentioned these before in other videos, just ranting and raving, and I'm going to do it again. Uh, this particular one is Rose Hip and Frankincense Beauty Oil with Vitamin E. Fabulous. I mean, look at this. You just pull off these little tops like yay. It's got a pump on it, which is heaven. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And you know what I love about these oils? They're not uber greasy. But these two can give you any kind of glow. I'll go over some more of the different oils I've got. Look at that. Oh, and the scent's beautiful. It's not too, too strong, but it's it's a healthy scent. If that, that sounds strange, but do you know what I'm saying? It's like a healthy scent. Look how absolutely gorgeous that is. Also, I have, the, now my very, very favorite is the Camellia uh, Face Oil here. It's got the avocado primrose. It's the jojoba, vitamin E, camilla oil. Oh, love it. Absolutely love these oils. 
these are the best of the best of the best, and I recommend that this is the only line, vegan line, that you should buy from. First of all, the prices are unbelievably reasonable, and I mean reasonable. But the products are the best of the best of the best. They are 100% pure. She has got everything and anything. I mean, from face oils to cleansers to, well, you, the clay mask that you see me in my videos work with. The pink clay mask comes from Girl in Naturals. This is another oil. It's grape, su grape seed and marigold oil. Boy, that's another one of my big favorites right here, let me tell you. Again, the same thing. You've got the little pump, you squirt it out, rub it in your hands, pat all over your face. Fabulous, fabulous. One of the other uh, oils that I have here is a, it's a Moisture Boost Face Serum. Now this has got Moringa, Barrage, Sea Buckthorn, uh, uh, CoQ10, etc., etc. And I use this at, at nights a lot with my other stuff. So it's like a Moisture Boost Serum. And you talk about heaven, forget it. Forget it, girls heaven. So that kind of covers the oils. One thing I also want to talk to you about, and this is just not a plug I'm doing for her. This is stuff I use all the time. This is all part of my regiment that I go through. But I use these washi cloths every single morning and night. Now, these are heaven. These are different types. They hold in a lot of warm moisture and you can lay it on your face and let your products just go deep within and just hydrate your face. Not only that, I love this for exfoliation as well. Gotta have them. Guerlain Naturals also carries these. They're called washi cloths. Love them. Love them. I get them in a package where there's like four to six or something. And they're not expensive and they last forever. Gotta have those. Now, let's talk a little bit about exfoliation. There's uh, other ways to polish and exfoliate your face. Let's say I have already cleansed and toned my face at night. I'm going to re-wet my face a little bit more. I'm going to dip it. I'm going to splash some water on it. I'm going to take what we call the washi cloth, okay? This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take an end while my face is damp and wet and I'm going to go in cir circular motions all over my face, all over my forehead, down my neck and my decollete in just circular motions giving it a little pressure, not too too much. These polishing cloths make your face shine like a new penny afterwards. I'm not kidding. I swear by these. I swear by them. Again, Girl in Naturals has those. I'll list all this down below. But if you don't have the washi cloths and you don't have the polishing cloth for your face, this is the best way if you're using Retin-A and you're going through the shedding process. Washi cloth, honey. Because after you wash and tone your face, make sure you re-dampen your face and go in the circular motions with this fabulous cloth. Girlfriend, you won't have any peeling. You won't have any flakes. Hello. They will not be there, darling. Nada. Love it. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Okay. The next thing I want to bring to your attention is I get a lot of questions about my SkinCeuticals AOX Eye Gel. And I told you it's like, it's kind of a rose-colored serum. I squirt a little on my ring finger and go like that. And I just pat all the way around my eye, around my brow bone, all under my eye. I mean, you can, you know, kind of rub it. I pat all mine in, though. This is the best, best, best eye serum in the universe. Yes, it's pricey. It's AOX eye gel, okay? By, uh, you know, skin suit, because, I mean, it, it's major. It's major. This is the best, and I use that in the morning. Now, at night, I use a different eye cream at night. This is what I wear in the daytime, the SkinCeuticals AOX. And at night, obviously, 
I used the TNS Skin Medical Eye Cream. And it's in a little jar like yay. You just tap your ring finger in again, press it together, and dab it all the way around your eyes. This is a little thicker cream, and it's heaven at night. Yes, it's pricey, but does it work? Mm -hmm. I mean, as old as I am, I cannot live without those eye creams. I'm sorry. They are my choice of eye creams. Next thing I want to bring to your attention is the um, um, Nukes. Have you all ever used any of the Nukes? They're French products. I've had them on my channel a lot of times before. These are just fun. Now this particular one, you apply in the morning on its own under your regular cream. This is more kind of like a Youth and Radiance cream. It kind of plumps. It illuminates the skin. And what I love is, look, this goes right up. You have a pump. Comes out almost like flesh color. And you rub it in your skin. I mean, it doesn't show any color after you get it on. But, oh my gosh. Look at that. Hydrating luminous this stuff is yummy and i like that because it gives a smooth surface to my skin it kind of gives me a little bit of a glow oh heaven and there again the price is right okay i will also list this product down below now you can just pull it put you know twist it and down the pump goes again it's kind of like a a couple of those products on Drunk Elephant. Love, love this kind of container. It is heaven. So, oh, this is dreamy. Look, isn't that soft and pretty? Love it. Okay, I've had a number of people ask me, Sharon, we know that back in the past you used to take uh, phytoceramides. Do you still take them? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have a new bottle right here. I, believe it or not, I take my phytoceramides all the time, all the time. Now, I take them when I take my vitamins and everything. And when these first got started, it was because Dr. Oz had these doctors on there and they were talking about it, the importance of phytoceramides. And it's like a facelift in a bottle and they reduce fine lines and wrinkles and it works and blah, blah, blah. This totally hydrates your skin. This totally gives me a little bit of a glow. This also helps with elasticity. I'm telling you, I still take these. This is another bottle. I don't know how many bottles I've gone through in all these years. But I still take them along with my vitamins. And yes, they work for me. And I will have that listed down below too. Okay. The other night, I was also in the bathroom doing my skincare, <laughs> per usual. And I said to myself, you know... I finished with my B Nigma, and I said, okay, I've done the B Nigma thing. Eh, I use a lot of products with, you know, B Venom and everything in it anyway. Well, let me tell you what was bizarre, because I kept thinking about the face oils. I kept thinking about B Venom. And now the clear blue sky, I said to myself, self, you have a product that was used a lot of years ago and was popular, and it had all the same ingredients in it. The Egyptian Magic. Do you remember this product? It just became the rage everywhere. Everybody had to go get this. I, off of Amazon and everywhere. And I want you to know this is not an expensive product. But it has the same ingredients in it just about. As a matter of fact, hang on a second. And I'm going to kind of read it to you if I can see. Okay. This has olive oil, beeswax, venom, honey, bee pollen, royal jelly, and propolis extract, and it goes on and on and on. Now, if you remember this product, you open it up, and you see it's kind of like a balm. When you put it on your hands and you rub it together, it becomes like a liquefied oil. And I said, oh my gosh, we're using so many oils. This has everything in it I'd want. So I just used it. 
afterwards and I said to myself, okay, wonder why I stopped using that before. I think I was afraid that it was going to clog my pores. But you know what? It has not clogged my pores, so I don't know what the reason was in not using it anymore. But I just rubbed between my hands and it liquefies just like that and I just pressed it all over my entire face, down my neck, down my decollete. I said, oh my gosh, now I've got all my hydration. I've got my oils, I've got my beeswax and venom and oh my gosh, all the good stuff here. I could imagine my royal jelly and so forth and so on. So I'm using this again a couple of nights a week just to seal everything afterwards because I can. So Maybe you all, if you haven't used your Egyptian magic in a while, or you want to retry it again, go ahead and get it. Because I'm telling you what, if anything can clog a pore, I'm going to know about it first, okay? Because we know how I have a problem with that. But this mm -mm, does not, nada. You love it. I am loving it all over again. Okay, the next thing is I started switching up my SPF. Not, not permanently now. You know I'm, I'm going to use the Elta MD. Swear bite, swear bite, swear bite, swear bite. Always will. Doesn't even irritate your eyes. That's how much I love it. But I said, okay, I, I want to use up, you know, some of my products. So I have the Abaji Sun Shield Broad, Broad Spectrum 50. And you guys know that I have tried this before too. And I used to alternate between the two. So I started using this again because I want to use up what's left in the tube. Now, will I switch over to this instead of Elta MD? Mm, I don't know. This, though, if it gets near or in your eyes, and I'm a contact lens wearer, this will burn your eyes. Then you have to take your lenses out and clean them. Whereas Elta MD, you can go all the way around your eyes, no problem. That is the only problem with this product is if you have sensitive eyes, <laughs> back jack. Okay, the next thing I wanted to mention when I was talking about Girland, and I wanted to bring this up because I'd forgotten, they have and they have all new packaging now. So what you're seeing is some of the older packaging, but they I noticed she has really upped her game. Her products are absolutely to die for all new packaging is lovely. But anyway, I noticed the body lotion I had. This is rejuvenating and rich in linoic acid. It has organic uh, avocado oil, black currant extract, hyaluronic acid, and all these other essential oils in the body lotion. I used that today also. I said, oh my gosh, I forgot how fabulous this was. So, there you go. Vegan products. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay. The next two things are a couple of brushes that I wanted to share with you that I'm using. This particular brush here is the Sigma. Oh, see, I don't have my contacts on right now. Bear with me. They're being cleaned because of this. Okay. Sunscreen. Okay. All right. The MAC 190. Okay. And I love this brush. And I'll tell you what I love it for because it's for different things. I use this brush primarily to put on my masks when they're like peel masks or you wash them off afterwards, you know, for any of my more liquid masks. I do not use it for foundation because I'm going to use my Artiste brush for that or my Beauty Blender. I don't use a lot of brushes <clears throat> for makeup okay but I do use this one for the mask that I put on and it is heaven as you can see it is lovely great shape um, and I've had it forever okay the next brush I've got is by it cosmetics and I forgot oh, what you call the name of this brush but it's kind of like a kabuki slant type brush and I use this a lot for my blush Okay, it's perfect for putting on your blush. Perfect. It's nice and thick and it's heaven. Love it. One of my big favorites. Okay, and then the next thing that I wanted to talk to you all about is a product that I have and I have shown this before, I believe. My Nia Gold Deluxe Cream. 
Now, let me tell you, I want to read you a little bit about this creep. This is fantastic. Now, it's pricey. Yeah, I know. See, it just comes out in little squiggles, kind of like yay. It's got some little, you can see some of the gold in it. But I love it as a body cream all over, and it gives my skin incredible hydration and sheen. Oh, isn't that pretty? I don't know whether y'all can see that in this light. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And it goes on, it's so smooth, it's real cooling and kind of a, you know, a wet feel, but not a runny type of wet feel. It's just hydrating. Just hydrating, hydrating is the word for it. I want to read you a little bit about this, and then I'll talk to you about price. It says it rejuvenates, moisturizes, and nourishes your skin with, hang on, lost my place, of course, with 24 karat gold. Our hydrating cream is infused with liquid gold to firm and tone problem areas while diminishing the look of dry, crepey skin. Uh, Manuka honey nourishes dull, dry skin while vegan green caviar uses a de detoxifying properties to improve skin's elasticity and miniature miniaturization. <laughs> I can't talk today. Abilities. Okay. Nia Gold Deluxe Cream is formulated with luxurious oils to visibly firm and tone problem areas while diminishing the look of orange peel skin. Rehydrate your skin for an age of perfection. Now, I can tell you this has been a miracle cream for me. Miracle! It is, it is changing the texture of my skin. It's not as crepey looking. It's smooth. So many lines went away. I wish I had a before and after because I had no idea I was going to get this kind of effect with this cream. It's got 24 karat colloidal gold, has natural beautifying properties while helping to improve the efficacy of other skin care ingredients. Okinawa green caviar, which improves skin elasticity and moisturization. That's why I said the moisture is incredible. Manuka honey diminishes the look of redness, scars, and other imperfections. Propolis improves the look of blemishes and imperfections. Now, regularly, this sells for like 65 bucks. But let me tell you something, girlfriends, what I saw. And I will put the link down below, just in case. And I don't know how often they would have it, or if they're going to. This is the heaviest thing you. This is majorly heavy, let me tell you. But isn't that pretty to go on your vanity? Well, anyway, back to the story. I had a client call me when she had first heard me talk about this, and she found one of them in TJ Maxx. Now, I think she only paid about $29 or $30, which there is a lot of product in here, I can just tell you. And uh, the way it comes out is so liquefying, it doesn't take much to cover big areas, if you know what I mean. And this is four fluid ounces right here. Now, since then, I have been on the run to find this because I thought, God, this would be a great giveaway, right? I haven't found any anywhere like that. TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I have searched and searched, and I've had other people search. They never found this, so I don't know how it ended up there. But I will list this down below. This is a, a cream you're going to fight for. You, you're just going to want to grab it off the shelf and run. I have never put anything on my skin this uber, uber hydrating and cooling, and right before your very eyes, you can see... The texture of your skin just changes. It just changes immediately. And it does have a nice sheen, but not shiny, shiny. Do you know what I'm saying? It just looks kind of a, a dewy, a dewy look. That's that's the word I'm looking for. More, uh, love it, love it. Girls, you got to try it, okay? It's in your budget, try it. Okay, the next thing that were my favorites this last month were different masks. Oops. I had an avocado hand mask. Yes, I do my hands and do my feet, do my heels, do my face, do my decollete. <laughs> I do everything. <laughs> but this is an avocado hand mask. Heaven. Super hydrating. Great. And who would know? Came from Sephora. 
The next one that I have here that I was really, really loving is a Dead Sea Mineral Mask. Super revitalizing, hydrating. And it's got it, just antioxidants out the world in it. Love it. Wear it for 20 minutes. There you go. Piece of cake. Then my pomegranate eye mask. I really like the pomegranate eye mask because it brightens my under eye. Some of my bluing is going away now. I don't know whether this has anything to do with it. I'm going to say it does. Uh, but, because I'm not using anything different under my eyes, so it's got to be my masking, but the bluing is going away. I love this. Okay, and then the other mask is my cucumber peel-off mask. And this has been fun. This is really hydrating. This calms all the redness and sensitive skin down. You know, our weather has been so icy cold. We get out there and we, our skin just feels chapped. I don't care what you put on it. And these masks really help. And this has done the aloe and the cucumber. Oh, heaven! I'm telling you, girlfriends. And one last product that I do want to mention. Uh, and let's see. It's the nights I don't use my glycolic wash. And I don't use my Retin-A. When I put on a moisturizer at the end before I put the oil on my moisturizer... I have been using the CeraVe, uh, CeraVe is what I call CeraVe, you call it whatever you want, uh, SA Cream. Now this has salicylic acid in it. So, and you can feel it when you put this on and I pat all, you know, everything in my face. You put this on and you wait even just a minute before I grab my oils and make that the last thing I pat on my skin. You can feel this tingling. You can feel it working. And this has made a lot of difference in the texture of my skin, too. Now, I've got the glycolic wash in one end. I've got the salicylic acids on, a, on another night here. I'm telling you, this is, this is great. Now, I can see where you couldn't use this every single night, obviously. If you're using Retin-A and if you're doing some exfoliating, you don't want this on your face because you're going to feel it, okay, girlfriends? But when you're not, you're having one of those easy-peasy nights and just using regular skin care, and you're not using your Retin-A, you try this. You're going to go mad about yourself. It is lovely. And you wake up, and you're so fresh, and you got a rosy look to your face, and, and then, you know, you've already put your oil on top. That kind of calms it down to the Camilla oil and some of that. Calms that little tingling feeling because it lasts for a little bit. I mean, it doesn't burn, it doesn't scorch, but you can feel it. Okay, girlfriends, you can feel it. You can feel it working. So, those are the things that I truly, truly loved as far as, you know, skin care and what have you. Um, I will say one thing. I found a couple of things in January that I wasn't crazy about. And uh, one of the things was the Patrick Star Quad. I had it in here a while ago. Hated it. And the lipstick that went with it was much, it was way too light. I mean, it looked chalky on me, um, literally. And the quad, I've got it on my eyes now because I wanted you all to see. Um, it's okay. It, it was hard to work with. It was the, they were, they were, the pigmentation was great. They were just kind of chalky and hard to work with, and I kept getting a dirty look. So I really wasn't that crazy about Patrick Starr's new quad. And the lipstick would have been perfect, if, if possibly if I had a different color. But the lighter one I got was, it did not look nudie. It almost looked a little chalky, like I was kind of dead. Didn't give me enough color. And that was the main thing. And then one other thing was a particular charcoal mask that I had used. Ugh, hated it. I mean, honey, it started drawing out my face. It was way too much for my dry skin. Way too much. Too much, okay? If I'm going to open up pores, I'll use my glycolic cleanser, you know, from Glow Therapeutics, you know, that kind of thing. But I will not use a lot of charcoal stuff on my face. No, 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 no.
Okay, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today for all of my brand new subbies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you so much. I'm so glad you've hopped aboard my train, girlfriends. And I am having a ball meeting you. And I can't believe so many of you said, oh, we've seen you for a long time. We're just now subscribing. I don't know what's taking you so long. Get the let out, girls. Let's go. You know, babies need new shoes, okay? But to all of my subscribers, I want to stay, say to you, stay sassy, classy, and confident. And give me a big thumbs up and have a great week.